let's say a patient comes into clinic and they're trying to decide if they want to get the flu vaccine. As with any decision, they're probably going to weigh the risks and the benefits of the flu vaccine. And as healthcare workers, it's really important that we understand these risks and benefits so that we can talk to our patients about it and help them make a, an educated decision. So let's start out by thinking of the more common risks and benefits. With a flu shot, the most common risk is going to be pain at the site of injection or muscle soreness wherever um, the patient receives the intramuscular injection. For some patients, particularly those who are afraid of needles, uh, you also might hear reports of lightheadedness after receiving the flu shot. So although these are the more common risks associated with the flu vaccine, let's remember that they're not experienced by everyone. Not everyone thinks that the flu shot hurts, not everyone is sore the next day, and certainly not everyone feels lightheaded after getting the flu shot. For patients who are particularly concerned about this, if available, you can offer them the nasal spray, uh, the flu mist. And this provides the same protection against flu um, without using needles. So let's counter these common risks with the common benefits of the flu vaccine. The most obvious of which, of course, is that you have a decreased chance of getting sick with the flu. For patients who are particularly pain averse, they don't want to get the flu vaccine because they think it's going to hurt. I would counter this by saying, you know what, flu hurts a lot. You're stuck in bed for days, it's completely miserable, and if I was a patient making this decision, I would go with a flu shot in this case because I would rather have soreness in the arm for a few days than be stuck in bed um, for three to five days. Let's turn our focus now to some of the more rare risks and benefits. Uh, so in 1976, there were reports of muscle weakness after patients were getting uh, the flu vaccine. And we found out that this was because of something called Guillain-Barre syndrome. And Guillain-Barre syndrome is a, a nerve problem that leads to, um, to muscle weakness. And although there was never any proof that the flu vaccine actually caused Guillain-Barre, since 1976, we've been screening for this condition to make sure that it doesn't lead to severe complications. In contrast to this uh, rare risk, we have some more, um, some, some less common benefits associated with the influenza vaccine, and that is a decreased chance of hospitalizations and a decre decreased chance of um, death as a result of the complications of the flu uh, virus. So if you remember from before, uh, flu can cause um, up to 200,000 hospitalizations every year and anywhere from 20 to 40,000 deaths every year. So again, if I was a patient trying to make this decision based on these more rare benefits and risks, I would go with the flu shot in this case as well because I would much rather avoid hospitalization and death um, if at all possible. So these are some considerations to think about on an individual level. But another important consideration is the impact that the flu vaccine has on, on the community. Uh, what happens to this patient's family members or their coworkers or classmates? Um, if your patient is a healthcare worker, uh, how does the flu vaccine affect their patients? Well, there's no risk um, involved in getting a flu vaccine uh, when you think about it from the perspective of a family member. If you um, get vaccinated, it, it's not going to affect your family member in a negative way. It can really only affect your family members in a positive way, and that's because if you're less likely to get infected by the influenza virus, you're also less likely to spread it. And we call this herd immunity. Herd immunity protects those around you, your close contacts, and as a result, it's definitely a benefit of becoming vaccinated. So when we think about all of these benefits together, I think it's pretty clear to see that the benefits outweigh the risks and that getting vaccinated against the flu virus is a good decision.